Hello, welcome back. Um, haven't done a video in quite some time. Part of it's due to internet out in the rural area. It's all night to download a four minute video. But I'm gonna try it again. Um, I'm gonna do some cauliflower and broccoli seed starts and then I'm gonna go out in the garden. It's 30 degrees, about 72 in the little greenhouse today. So I thought it was a chance to do it. Most of the stuff is online. Everything I'm doing, I found it. I already had added boiling water to my organic seed starting mix. And I'm gonna fill my trays and get started. One thing I do wanna mention is this is my first year doing starts instead of just buying a plant. I kind of cheaped out on the trays. Don't do that. I'm having to put something, a rock or something underneath the tray there in the center because they sag so much. So when you bottom water, this section of the tray for the peppers I did last week stayed soaked. So I found something, I'll lift the tray up. I uh, won't make that mistake again. So I filled it, so I'm gonna go through now and I'm gonna pat it down. I'm gonna add seed, my seeds and then I'll top it off with more seed starting mix. This being my first year of kind of doing a bigger garden than what I've done in the past. And doing my own starts as I put these little tiny broccoli seeds in here. Um, I do have a horticulture background, mostly in landscaping. I did spend two years at a facility where we did finish our own annuals but even then we had two big greenhouses and a bunch of interior plants and we started our own annuals for the property but we were doing them buying plug kit plug trays already seeded and then we were transferring them into six packs or four inch pots depending on the variety so and we were very heavy on the chemical use at that facility. And this year I'm trying to go chemical free and we'll be able to do that. I just can't say organic as far as certified organic. Um, I'll take a little short video here in a bit. I did start peppers last week. I know they take like three weeks to germinate, but in that tray, in my little seed starting area I set up inside, I've been able to I started some tomatoes and I'm way early. It's February 8th in central Oklahoma. And this week we're gonna have lows in the single digits to low teens. We don't usually set tomato plants outdoors till after the first weekend in May. But I've been able to keep this greenhouse relatively warm. And as the daylight continues, I think I wanna try a couple and containers in here. And there's a little hoop house. Um, and maybe have fresh tomatoes for myself relatively early. So, oops, there was three dropped in that one. Things are tiny. I don't want to waste a bunch. But as I go along this journey this year and the mistakes and try to get it all documented. I'll share the mistakes and successes. Um, we should, that's about right. One more row of broccoli, then I'll do cauliflower. I mean, this is cauliflower, then I'll do broccoli, sorry. So. I went ahead and made use of my label maker but you see how that tray sags a little bit? I'll have to get some more support underneath it while trying not to block the water intake for bottom watering. I'll take these inside, get them with the grow light when I go in a little bit, some stuff to do outside, and I'll share that with you as well. One thing before I got outside that I did, kind of heard to get things going this year when I decided to put up the small little cattle panel hoop house is that spinach, some radishes, and that's a salad mix. 
um, next year before next fall, I'll go ahead and build a raised planter along the south wall. Give me a little more space and using these old protein tubs as a planter. Some garlic's doing well. Um, as you can see, it's windy in Oklahoma. <laughs> no matter what kind of weight I've used so far on these tarps, it hasn't worked. I have to fix it several times. Last little windstorm wasn't as bad. I lost a few. I'm getting ready to fix those now as well as tarp off a new area that I had set up for construction here. So I will tarp that off. Oh, um, so I'm gonna do a quick experiment on this section, this last bed area right in front. I'm gonna go ahead and put down alfalfa straw to cover the tarp. I'm gonna add a small section in here. I'm gonna cover it with cardboard. Um, I'll use these two areas for our stuff I put in in May. So I still have many months ahead of me to let it break down and see how it does. So we can kind of see what it looks like when I pull the tarps off of it using cardboard versus alfalfa hay. Well, I didn't have as much cardboard as I thought I had, but I'm gonna do this. About half of this will be covered in cardboard, the other half will not. Give me a pretty good comparison as well compared to the bed I did earlier with alfalfa hay. So we'll see how it turns out when I take this stuff off in May. Back inside, do a couple little cleanup things, then go in and hang a new um, grow light 
and my seating area and I'll show that another time kind of makeshift thing I did with an empty cabinet space seems to be working I said I've got some tomatoes germinated they did it in six days which is a lot on the queue so keeping the soil temperature at 77 and seemed to work out great thank you I'm gonna try to do these once a week just now that it's really getting started with more and more prep work to start planting in March with potatoes and onions thanks and have a great day got that covered up hope it stays down at least most of the time it's very difficult here with 40 or 50 mile an hour sustained winds for hours it just pulls the bricks moves them it's been very difficult but so far with the first tarps I put out in October I've only had to fix them today was the third time so it's not too terrible